and hello my emeralds, I am Helen's 20 view to the Wales Fails of Minecraft Tumblr. Welcome to another video! Today I'm playing Scribble Up. I am still in Seattle. My grandma's in the other room sleeping, so I'm talking low. And anyway, we're playing Scribble Knots. I've already technically beaten this game, but I want to play it again for you guys. I'm suddenly feeling very, very hot. Ah, crap. <laughs> That's not good. Anyway, I gotta delete everything. So, we're gonna start a new game. Let me just close that. That's Skype. And we're gonna start over. So I'm gonna be quiet, and you guys are gonna hear. Uh, let me hold on. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. Anyway, you guys are gonna see the intro. So let's watch. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. So like me and my bro. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family. And they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. What the fuck? <laughs> One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. I want that to be so real. I want it so bad. I want it. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So, they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids, and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. How he couldn't bad believe of a what we did, swat to the did you man. give those kids? We probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. If you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. And probably jumped into the Grand Canyon with piranhas. <laughs> or just passed out. I know how to play this game pretty well. Hang on. That's not what I meant. So, earn a star right by helping Edwin with his award-winning pig. Basically, you gotta use your imagination to do all this stuff. I 
apologize in advance if you guys can't hear this very well. Turn the runt litter into award winning pig. Write an object to help as well scrub the pig. Hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> Sponge. Yoink. There we go. Pig looks great. Now use an adjective to increase the pig size. Sorry. Help the pig win the talent competition. Use an adjective and a noun to create wings. Okay. So we got a hippie, we got a lady, and then we got a cowboy. I knew how to play this game! What the fuck? Blah, 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 blah. They don't talk in this game. Is that a guinea pig? How does that win second place? I'm gonna take a sip of my Pepsi. Pepsi! <laughs> ah. I love Pepsi. Hang on. I gotta pick it up. So you do a little disco dance and you get it like boo y'all! I know there's a new Squirrel Knots out. It's just I don't have it. I don't have the money for it. So, eesh. Earn shards by helping people. Okay, ten shards will form a star right. So you press this. And you go into, like, predator vision. We can see your body heat. You gotta cover yourself in mud and shit. Help the sprout grow, huh? Hmm. I got very creative sometimes. Reset. Oh, so it's supposed to happen. Okay. Duh. There's no way of preventing that from happen happening, by the way. My <laughs> keys Mew. It's a cute little kitty. Cute little kitty. Yay, we're already reaching the first half. Learning the basics was just the first step towards saving Lily. Yay! Use the bus stop to begin your journey in Capital City. Click Maxwell to slide. Oh, 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 is my avatar still here? Is it still here? Dang it! I gotta make a new one. Anyway guys, this is the end of the first half. I'll see you guys in the next half. When we come back, I will have a skin. Or a new avatar. And 
welcome back. I got a new avatar. It looks bad. I know. I know. Hang on. I've done the first miss mission, so let's, let's get going, huh? My old character looks so ugly. Ew. I'm gonna take another drink of my Pepsi. Oh, hi. I'm doing a floating freak thing. It's like almost one o'clock in the morning. I want someone to entertain me. Hmm. There, you're entertained. I'll go to <laughs> go away. I'm parked illegally. Hmm. Ha ha ha. Think, 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 think. Nope. This one, huh? I've I've played this before, so Ugh. No? Okay. Huh. See if she'll clean it up. No? Okay. Bench. Oop, there we go. Him? What about him? Place someone in the telephone booth to make a sidekick for me. Okay. Actually tried many many ways to clean that and it's not gonna work um, the only way to actually get it to work is like a fan but Next time, I'm gonna have some dupes, you know, some things from the workshop to use. Nope. Hmm. 
Is it? There's a dinky little fan. Your rainbow, fuck your rainbow. I don't care. I probably shouldn't be swearing. down here that wants to, uh, him. I want to sail across the sea. Okay. one is gonna bother me so bad. I have a uh, chlorophobia, which is a fear of clowns. Oh, clowns, clowns, clowns. No, oh, thank you. So you gotta do that, huh? Um. What else? What else? Oh, there's a clown. I'm actually covering him up with my hand. There's something about the balloons. My mouse has a weird double click. So it'll accidentally double click without me intending it. That horse is gonna sit there and bounce and bounce and bounce. Doing, 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 doing. Look at the ball. Let's just look at it. Just look at it. It's just bouncing all the way. Sweet, I saw my wings. So, that was a good portion of um, Scribble Knots. When the next one comes out, I will hopefully not be in Seattle. Or I might still be here. I'm unsure. And I will have some things from the workshop. I'll see you, Emeralds, in the next video. Like, fave, comment, subscribe.